Good afternoon, everyone. I bought this auger at an auction. A friend found it, uh, bid on it, and I got it. It came with a dedicated Kubota mount. So this does not fit on the X connect I have on this Bobcat. So instead of buying a plate, have an adapter fabricated, I took that the hanger that it had, which was this piece, but it's a lot shorter. I had it extended and I went ahead and got my 12 inch bucket and had it modified. I didn't do it. CNJ Welding in Fuquay, Verena, North Carolina did the work for me. They went ahead and reused the ends and then they copied what was on here. It was this plate that was crossed or this X, whatever you want to call it. They just made it a lot longer. I wanted it right past the teeth. These were added, these collars, so one slip back and forth. And then they went ahead and fabricated a pin to go through it. It works well. It's a lot cheaper than getting a find that adapter and having it fabricated, but I also wanted just to be able to have less Guess attachments with me. I've only used this auger once, but I actually have a job. I'm going to do a lot of holes with it. The the hex shaft is two and a half. It came with that two and a half to two inch round adapter. So it's just an auger, six inch. I got to do four inch posts for a fence, and that works fine with it. And this will fit the the bigger augers, whether you buy them or you rent them. The hose was a little short on one end. I just needed to use it and had an extension made at the local Napa store in Fuquay. That adapter right there, I don't think it was too much. Charged me $450, they had it done in a day. This way I can still use my 12 inch bucket. These collars that are in the ends, they come behind this wear bar. I don't think it's gonna be an issue with them. And that's just a bolt going through that that pin to keep it in place this is just something that works for me it's something that was not only budget friendly it's, it's still it works it it holds up pretty well already and I've used it I've gone through some pretty thick clay with this The way it's set up, it has two pivot points. So it's kind of dark up there right now, close to rain. So this will self-center. And once it stops moving, it didn't take much to get used to how to place this, get to the holes. It's just something that, like I said, it works for me. The auger was a steal. It really was, the auction. I don't think many people knew what it was or just had no need for it, thought maybe it was too big. But that definitely has worked out for me. The way this is set up, where that extension lays on there, it's easy to transport, it doesn't really move much. It's pretty solid. So it's easy to dismount it or take it off of here. Since I do use this bucket once in a while, until I do, I'm just gonna leave this bucket attached to this auger. When it's connected, it's not hard at all to connect the bucket. I will say it was a little challenging the first time I was connecting this auger adapter to the bucket. So I went ahead and, you can tell, kinda ground down the end so it's easier to line up. And inside those, the inner collar extensions, I did the same thing round out the inside so it's easier to go in. Overall, I'm really happy with this. I think total investment with extra hose, that fit, that auger, right about $1,000, right under $1,100. So to be able to start punching holes, it's a lot cheaper than a brand new setup. And at this point, it's definitely a lot cheaper than renting one. Thanks for watching.